So hey you guys, how are you doing? I just wanted to jump on YouTube really quick and do a couple of tutorials. The first one I'm gonna do is how I apply my epoxy art resin. A lot of people have been asking about it and so I just wanted to do a real quick tutorial. So there's a couple of things that you're gonna need to start with. I have a little mixing cup, a little disposable mixing stick, and I use this little plastic spoon to measure, but of course you can be more precise and use an actual measuring spoon. So, I don't know if you can see this, it's called Envirotex Light. This is the hardener, it's a two-part thing. It's a hardener and the actual resin. So make sure that you have gloved hands. I'm pretty sure that you do not want this on your skin. And also make sure that you wear something that you don't care about because if it gets on your clothes, it's probably gonna ruin it. So let's start. You don't have to do the hardener or the resin in any certain order, but you do have to make sure that you're pretty close with the mixture. So I'm gonna do a lot of rocks today. So I'm gonna do two teaspoons of each, the hardener and the resin. So there's one, there's two. Let's get this out of the way. Um, I just wanna say that the first time that I used this, I put the wrong cap on the wrong bottle and it resined to the bottle. You do not wanna do that. Make sure that you put the black cap with the black letter bottle and you put the white cap with the white letter bottle. Okay, so let's pour again a heaping teaspoon. So again, a lot of this or a little of this goes a long way. I am going to be starting to seal sealing the rocks from the paint night this last Friday. So there's about 80, so I'm going to be using a lot of resin. Okay. So here we go. Just go ahead and start mixing. On the bottle it says mix for two minutes straight. I don't mix for two minutes straight just because I never use like the whole bottle. Um, if you wanna go, if you wanna mix for a whole two minutes, go for it. I'm not gonna do it right here on this video. So I just wanna make sure that I scrape the sides really good keep mixing keep mixing there's gonna be a whole bunch of bubbles and that's gonna let you know that you are mixing correctly also I want to say if you don't get a good mix if you don't get uh, if you get too much hardener or too much resin in there it's gonna not give you a consistency like a hard consistency at the end it's gonna be sticky and it won't harden all the way so make sure you get pretty close Okay, so this is mixed. I don't know if you can see, there's a whole bunch of little bubbles in there. That's gonna be okay. Don't worry about that. At the end, we will take care of the bubbles. Let's get this out of the way, get this on a piece of paper. Okay, so here's a rock that I'm gonna start with. I start with the back. What I do is I dip my finger in the resin just smear it all over the back. Make sure that you get it well coated. So once you got the back well coated, I just smear it all over. Kind of like you're rubbing a bar of soap in your hands when you're washing your hands. And you just make sure that everything's well coated. If your rock is really uh, bumpy, make sure that you get all the grooves because I've, got, I've gotten a rock before where I didn't resin it all the way and I was kind of upset at the end. Okay, so what I do is I set it down where it's gonna dry. I take my finger, dip it in the resin, and then I just do one good coat over the rock. So make sure that you don't put too much. You don't want it to drip over the sides. If you do accidentally put too much, you can always take your finger, go around the edge, and catch the drips. So it's pretty much that simple. Um, let's do another one. I just take my finger, dip it in the resin, 
smear it on the rock. After you've done your first rock, you're going to have a lot of resin all over your hands, so you might not even need to dip your fingers in the resin for the back of the rock a, the second time just because you have so much resin on your hands. So, sorry if you can hear me sniffling, you guys. I have a little bit of a cold. So you see how the resin makes the sparkles pop? It's so pretty. So I just take it, smooth it over. I li actually sh like to do this when the last part when it's setting down so that I don't get too much uh, like bubbles and waves in it when I set it down. Okay, so let me do one more and then I think you guys can get it. So just slather it on there. Don't do too much at first. Make sure it's all covered. See how it makes the sparkles pop. It looks so nice. Hope you guys can see that. And then just set it down and go over with a little bit of resin. I just like the top to be super shiny, so I like to put an extra little layer of resin on there. Oh, I do want to add to make sure that you have a non-stick mat. You want it to be shiny. I just got these from the dollar store. Um, so the back of your rock is going to come out the same texture as whatever your mat is. If your mat is a matte finish, it's going to come out not shiny. If your mat is shiny, it's going to come out shiny just like the front of your rock, and that's what you want. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Okay, so I just want you guys to see that four teaspoons of the hardener and the resin, or two teaspoons each, I'm sorry, it will cover all of these rocks. Half of these are pretty big rocks, so just take that into consideration when you're trying to figure out your ratio. Okay, also I want to add that at the end there's gonna be little tiny bubbles that you might not even be able to see. You probably can't see them right here on camera, but I wanted to let you know that this is part of the process. I take a straw and I just... The carbon dioxide in your breath pops the bubbles. So uh, some people use torches, but I think that's a little bit much. And a couple of minutes with a straw will do you good. I just want to say thank you all for watching and check me out on Instagram at rocked the spot, R-O-C-K-E-D, the spot. And same thing on Facebook. Thanks guys.